as highly touted a prospect as there is in mixed martial arts at present. Enter the undefeated future Ian Machado Gary. Cardio is his best weapon. He hasn't even had to use it necessarily in realizing all of this UFC success thus far. Tremendous long range weapons, underrated in the clinch, underrated as a grappler. But I guess for me, it's the appetite for knowledge that really jumps out of the fighter beating. This man has traveled the world in search of different mixed martial arts skills and now training under the watchful eye of Diego Lima at Shootbox in Brazil. We'll see if Ian Machado Garrett can take his career to that requisite next level here tonight. Introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Jordan built. We're going to be back in the Midwest where there are hordes of Mexican So, John, championships are won in this building. You see the Michael Jordan statue out front. You know that it's something special. The fans are in for something special tonight. It's going to be loud tonight in Chicago, Illinois. Shadow carries. Looking to pass out of the half guard here. Maybe looking for side control. He's denied. We'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Covington's back at half guard, very comfortable here. When you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position on the real seat. And a miss with the right hand. Oh, big elbow. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. But that punch, no good. Nice. Nicely done. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Great body kick there. Oh, pretty good handiwork on the feet there from Colby Covington. Doesn't get enough credit for the striking, but it's certainly on point tonight, champ. Oh, these leg kicks 
strikes are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. We cross the midpoint in round one. Marshall, the title fighter lands a knee, and Danny Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Covington's in half guard now. Great job changing the position and getting that reversal. Oh, high level stuff here with the ground and pound by Machado Garrett. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Knee strike there, interrupted by Covington. Oh, big Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Fighters separate from the clinch. And another combination here really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Covington's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, the volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, going back to the slam here. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, he's got his back. He's got to get him in the air to try to return and come back. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick land. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, he's got his back. Now he's got to start trying to drag him to the ground. Then he can look for submission. Oh, yeah, big elbow. Oh, beautiful job by Covington to take the fight to the ground. Very high is his confidence in terms of his conditioning and his ability to really dictate where the fight's going to go. Well, you've got to be confident. If you're going to have this approach to fighting, the way that he attacks fighters personally, professionally. You gotta have confidence in knowing that when you get in there, you can back it up. Covington's in half guard. Great shot from the top position. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Covington's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. All right, big moment in that round, of course, the strike that caused the cut to the lip. Certainly, it's not shades of Robbie Lawler nor Alistair Overeem, but the cut does bear watching as we move forward. And it still hurts. I mean, it still hurts. Every, I mean, honestly, everything hurts in the octagon, and that shot looked like it hurt a ton. But what the story will be is that it opened up that cut on the lip. How does he avoid taking too much damage back to that spot? He's got to move his head off that center line as he's moving forward. And there's only so much a cut man can do to stop bleeding in the mouth area, so we will continue to monitor that cut as this fight presses forward. Muscle cut to the head. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. All right, there it is. He stuffs yet another takedown. Not a bad attempt by the wrestler, but he hasn't realized any success with his takedown business. Sometimes, John, it's not enough. You can beat the guy to the position. The guy's just well-versed enough to defend, and that's exactly what we're seeing from this balanced fighter. Oh, nice inside trick there. Oh, that was nice. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, he's got to the side of the octagon. Oh, beautiful job by Covington to get inside it. Going for the arm here. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working toward the finish. 
submission now. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Strong reversal there. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take you down very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and they're showing right now. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, beautiful jab there by Covington. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Under three minutes now to go in round two. Covington's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Don't wait, don't wait. Trying to kick the leg out. Ooh, what a punch. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively. This fight's going to end. He's got to move his head down. Like that. The problem is, like that. now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Takedown defense is there. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been real. He got him hurt bad here. Oh! Oh, big left. 20 seconds to go round two. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Covington's really donating a lot of blood right now. It appears as though most of it is coming from that cut on his lip. Nothing ideal about it. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. He's cut too. We knew this was going to be a bloody fight. They want you to refocus. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets through. Oh! Gets back to his feet. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that thing. 
able to connect with the right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Covington's mouth is just pouring blood. I'm not sure I've ever bled that much in my entire life. This is getting out of hand. Seems like even some of the fans right now are calling for the ringside physician to intervene. the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Machado Gary gets back up again. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the bottom one. He hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh! Massive knee to the head! Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Stuff to take down, no problem. All right, so when is too much, too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage. Here. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not going to change. Ian Machado Gary's trying for a submission here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked up. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Covington's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Machado carries. I'm starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Now inside the close guard. Machado Gary's looking for an armbar here. He is no one-trick pony. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, and the submission defense wins this transition. After a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. Oh, that hook has been there all night. There's another one by Covington. Level change there goes for the takedown. Waiting seconds here of round number four. Oh, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Covington. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, heading back to the corner now, and we will keep a close eye on things. Covington's lip is really torn up right now. You hope that this doesn't mean the fight is going to be over, but they might have no choice but to stop the fight, just given all the blood that is coming out of his mouth right now.
Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Takedown defense holds up. Shadow oh, Gary's in half goal. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Gary. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. Constantly a moving target. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Machado Gary. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. I love, I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue to him. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival mode. Covington's an absolute mess. I wonder if they might call in the ringside position and potentially stop this fight. Slip that offering from his opponent. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Shadow Gary's shot there is blocked. Covington goes in for the takedown now. Nice level change, and he gets it. So, showing off the fight IQ there. He was getting tagged on the feet. He passes the half. Oh, reverses the position there. Nice transition by Ian Machado Gary. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Well, he keeps going. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Machado Gary is able to protect the eye there with that block, so that is a nice adjustment that the fighter made there to raise the guard and prevent further damage on that cut. Oh, big shots exchanged in the pocket there. That knee might have landed there. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you wanna finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Well, this fight has been absolutely crazy. Both fighters continuing to target the head and the face of the other. I feel like we're going to get like an ambulance pick with these two guys later. Today. Yeah, they are both beat up. They are both unwilling to take a step back. They are both wearing the damage, but both okay with it in order to have a good, fun fight. Covington gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. 
takedown attempt late, and it's good. Ten seconds to go in round four. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Nice shots landing from the top position. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, well, good news, bad news here. Good news, round is over. Bad news, the cut on his lip, as nasty as we've ever seen in the UFC. Really, really bad. And you got to think at some point the doctor's going to get called in. If it's any worse than it is now, this fight is going to be stopped. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the Ready. risk of this fight getting stopped. Fifth and final round. <laughs> Able to check that kick as well. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Just out of range with the uppercut. Both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. He's got to move. They're going to stop this fight if he doesn't move. Big right hand there. Single collar tie here. Covington gets the takedown. Could be big here. Oh, nasty elbows now, DC. Hard to see if a cut's been opened up, but got to think at some point there's going to be some blood. You got to be so close to fight and throw this many elbows back to back. Great job. Oh, outstanding knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow it up. Certainly using his length well in this one tonight. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Covington tie is closing up now. Not good for him. Takedown defense holds up. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, big knee. Back to his feet. Oh, big left hand. Oh, nice shot by Covington. Nice, nicely done. Big elbow there, Nash. That blood becoming a real factor. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. in half court. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Switch kick lands now. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the seven two that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single power. Nice punch here. Ian Machado Gary's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. 
Heavy body kick lands. Now to go in the fight. Covington's able to flatten him out. This could be real trouble now. Look at him. He's setting up the choke now. Look at that. He's setting it up. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Machado Gary's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Looking out of side control here. His opponent trying to control. All out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 49-46, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Colby Chaos Covington! A lot of dominant portions throughout that fight for the welterweight contender, Colby Covington, your winner by decision tonight. Long one of the best welterweights in the world. He once again proves why Colby Covington, in his dominating best tonight, earns another decision victory.